Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to put a little video in and I think I'll put it in right here of the baby chick. She's getting a little fluffier. She's still not fluffy yet. She's still got some wet spots on her back. But she's coming along. Oh, you're tired. She's so tired. Such a cute little chick. Yes, you are. You're getting cuter by the minute. I like to see what happens. Here, we'll turn off this light. Whoops. We'll turn off the light a minute. There she is. Say hello. Yes, hello, baby. I've got her in the brooder. I put a little rabbit there just because. And I put the food and the water on this side. And the thermometer is in there. Yes. So this is her new home now. That baby looks so much prettier now. I put it in the brooder box and it's happy. I had to print out what the temperature is supposed to be because I had forgotten what the temperature should be in the brooder box. For the first week it's supposed to be between 90 and 95 degrees which it is about 94 or 95. It's somewhere in there. And then next week we can lower it down from 90 to 85 and then each week it goes down just a little more and a little more. And what I will do is when it gets to where it can be in the 80s, I will take the little chick outside so it can scratch around in the grass. I had different ones ask who was, if one of the hens could raise the chickens. They could have if they had just hatched their babies, but their babies are over a week old and the other ones are almost four weeks old. So they're too old for this baby to join them. If they would have just hatched like within the day or two, I could have added this one to it and they probably would have accepted it. But at this stage they won't. So I'll have to wait till the baby is big enough to join them and I will have to put it in the chicken house at night so that when they wake up in the morning they'll say, oh, were you here all the time? I don't recognize you. But they won't bother it as much if you put it in at night. Because the chickens really can't see in the dark. We had to go to the store today because I had to buy another lamp so I could put the heat lamp in because, I, like I told you, I've got all my lights in here. I've got three of them. And this way it's bright enough in here. Otherwise it would be very dark in here. So that's what we did. And then we went to my sister's because I had to give her some money because she was the one that was ordering the meat platter that we're sending to my my uncle's house for my aunt who has passed away and I thank you all for your kind words and thoughts of my aunt, my Aunt Rosemary. I used to call her when I wanted to talk to my mom because she was my mom's sister and when I felt like telling my mother something instead I would tell Aunt Rosemary. So that's my video for today and I thank you all for the comments. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye bye.